Hi guys, welcome back to my channel AutoTech with AJ. In this vlog, I am comparing the new 2017 Verna with the Honda City. The Honda City was given a few updates recently to keep it competitive in the market and now Hyundai has launched the all new third generation Verna with a host of new features and a crisp design. So how do these stack against each other? Let's find out. I'll start with the pricing first. Believe it or not, the new Verna is actually cheaper than the Honda City. The price of the starting model and even that of the top model is significantly lower. The Honda is priced between 8.62 lakhs to rupees 13.71 lakhs, whereas the new Verna is priced between 8 lakhs to 12.60 lakhs. Ex showroom Delhi. That is almost 1.1 lakhs cheaper than the top end city. If we talk about the engine and power of these two vehicles, then also Verna is better than the city. Although both are available in petrol and diesel engines, the Verna comes with a 1.6 litre unit that produces a max 121 bhp with 154 newton meters of torque and diesel unit which produces a max of 126 bhp with 265 newton meters of torque. Whereas the city has 1.5 liter petrol unit that produces 117 bhp, 145 newton meters of torque, and a diesel unit that produces a max of 99 bhp at 200 newton meters of torque. So clearly, the Verna is more powerful of the two. Of note is that the Verna is mated to a six-speed manual and automatic transmission. The city is mated to a five-speed manual and a six-speed CVT transmission. The mileage of the new Verna is tweaked and now it matches up with the city where both the rivals give 17 kmpl on the petrol variant and around 25 kmpl on the diesel variant. The new Verna comes with a super body structure which uses high strength steel making the car more rigid. Not only this, the advanced high strength steel hot stamping application makes it lighter. The Honda City takes a lead over the 2017 Hyundai Verna in terms of length and wheelbase. The City is 55 mm longer than the Verna and this also helps the car eke out 20 mm advantage in the wheelbase dimension. Width wise though, the Verna is 34 mm wider than the City. Sitting 3 in the back seat should be easier in the Verna than the City. With 45 mm more headroom on the city than Verna, the Honda car should accommodate taller passengers easily. I have sat in the Verna back seat and it is a little challenging in terms of the headroom and I am 5 feet 11. Top spec Verna packs a new 7.0 inch touchscreen AVN system with IPS display and VR. It also gets smartphone connectivity options including mirror link. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is available from EX onwards. The Honda top end gets features such as automatic headlight control with light sensors, automatic intermittent wipers with rainfall sensor etc. for the top variants. The Verna is loaded with safety features like ABS and EBD, dual airbags, clutch lock, rear view mirrors, seat belt pre-tensioners front, ISO fix, child seat anchors are standard across lineup. The top spec SX optional packs 6 airbags, electrochrome rear view mirror and smart keys. Rear view camera is available from EX onwards. The city includes safety features like dual airbags, ABS with EBD, immobilizer, ISO fix, rear defogger etc. which are standard across all lines. The side and curtain airbags are standard on the top spec ZX variant while the fuel reminder control system is available from SV onwards only on the diesel variants. Well guys if you like this video please press the like button and for more such reviews please subscribe to my channel. Also keep watching to see how the new Verna stacks against the Maruti Siaz and which is the better option.